I'm your host, Davida Shinsky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. The purpose of this podcast is to help you in building personal relationships and lifestyle and mental health and areas to help you deal with and relate to people in a healthy relationship. And today's presentation is titled Three Excellent Reasons Why You Should Set Boundaries with Yourself. We often tend to blame others for the dissatisfaction we feel in our lives. Other people don't do their job well, and they don't respect our boundaries. They misunderstand us and so on. But more often than not, many of our problems are caused due to the lack of proper boundaries with ourselves. Boundaries are an important aspect of maintaining a healthy relationship with yourself. Boundaries require discipline and self-awareness. It prompts you to be clear about your needs, goals, and values. Instead of living on autopilot and wasting your potential, you become more intentional about your daily choices. Boundaries make you fine-tune the aspects of your life that need work. Setting healthy boundaries with yourself is as much important as setting boundaries for other people. And here are a few reasons why you need to set healthier boundaries with yourself. Three reasons why you should set boundaries with yourself. Limit harsh self-judgment. We can be our worst self-critic. Without setting proper boundaries with yourself, it's easy to get carried away with harsh self-judgment. When you judge yourself too hard for your perceived failings, you feel like you are not good enough for anything, and you shouldn't even bother trying new things. This person is someone who is a perfectionist and doesn't accept anything less than perfection, not only from themselves, but from everyone else around them. In a way, judging yourself relieves you of the responsibility for your actions. You think you are not good enough, so you rush to the conclusion that you don't have the ability to improve. And as a result, you don't even make an effort to change. This way of thinking exacerbates your suffering. Indulging in incessant self-criticism has plenty of negative consequences. It lowers your self-confidence levels, makes you feel inadequate, and keeps you from getting after what you really want. Setting boundaries with yourself involves becoming more mindful and placing positive thought patterns in your mind. Notice that when your thoughts and feelings connected to your self-judgment turn negative, Stop giving your weight to such self-judgments. Refrain from thoughts. You don't have to sugarcoat everything, but don't go bashing yourself either. For example, if you mess up a presentation at work, replace the I suck, everyone must be making fun of me thoughts with empowering thoughts like, I'm okay, it's over, there's no point of fretting about it. I see this as an opportunity to improve 
in areas where I'm lacking. I'll nail the next one. Always remember this. There's a book out there that you can read that's called I'm Okay, You're Okay. And what that does is that helps you understand yourself better and understand how the things you hear, you internalize and begin to believe and use that as your point of interest for where you see yourself. Boundaries help you get a better grip on your emotions and let you take responsibility for your behaviors. Watch the way you talk to yourself throughout the day. Avoid forming an opinion about yourself solely based on your mistakes. Be kinder to yourself. Think about it. Would you ever talk to someone else the way you talk to yourself? Harsh self-judgments block your way of achieving self-acceptance and unlocking new possibilities. Acknowledge your mistakes, but recognize that when you are go going overboard with self-criticism, keeping boundaries around helps you catch yourself in a problem pattern. Develop good habits. There are several things that may prevent you from establishing and keeping up with good habits. First of all, first off, there's a never ending list of excuses, not enough time, energy, resources. Then there's a lack of proper planning and motivation. Boundaries help you change and challenge excuses that keep you stuck. But they add structure to your daily routine. If you want to train yourself to stick to your habits, you have to set boundaries around the things that you do day in and day out. The goal here is to enhance your ability to choose wisely when you clearly define which actions are good for you and which are not. You limit the number of decisions that you need to make every day. As a result, you are less likely to get distracted and fall off track. Little changes to your thinking can greatly improve the quality of your life. Boundaries are important for staying focused on your goals. They help you control your impatience, your anger, and instinctive reactions build inner strength. Boundaries are intentional choices that you make about your life. They are strategies that you put in place to ensure that you spend your time and energy in the most optimal way. For example, if you're someone who tends to procrastinate a lot, setting a strict deadline and reminding yourself of the consequences of missed deadlines can help you stay focused. Or if you are at the other end of the spectrum, that is that you work too much and struggle to take a break blocking out break times and unplugging entirely from work will prevent burnout. These are the choices that serve you best, even if they feel uncomfortable at the moment. Boundaries improve your ability to resist temptations and stick to your goals. You embrace discomfort for a little while so that you can get better rewards later on. You understand the 
importance of being focused. Things that don't seem like that big a deal at the moment often end up derailing your progress. Boundaries are necessary to honor your physical and emotional needs. Make time to set boundaries with yourself. Each day, you have made several choices pertaining to different areas of your life, health, finances, fitness, relationships, and so on. Setting boundaries with yourself empowers you to make healthy decisions. Without healthy boundaries in place, you are more prone to giving in to the impulse behaviors. You are more likely to make poor choices. There will always be things that distract us from our goals. Boundaries help you be aware when you deviate from your path. They add structure to your everyday life and drive you towards making the choices that help you make progress. With the help of boundaries, you can reinforce healthy behaviors and let go of the unhealthy tendencies. Remember, boundaries can vary from person to person. What's important to you may not be a priority for someone else. Your boundaries should reflect your unique needs, goals, and priorities. By setting boundaries with yourself, you acknowledge what's important to you and what's not. Setting healthy boundaries isn't going to limit you. In fact, it's going to help you achieve more while preventing burnout and resentment. You will feel more confident and in control. And the last thing that I'm saying is this. The best thing you can do is get the book, Games People Play, and also the book, More Games People Play, by Eric Byrne, because they will tell you and and discuss the different types of games that we play with ourselves as well. Because think about it. There's the expression, yes, but, oh, yes, I can do it. But here's the excuse why I'm not even trying. 